Hello there, my name is Vladimir, welcome to my home studio. I'm again joined by Tanali, <laughs> whatever that means. And we are continuing our bias and effects thing series. And today we're trying something I'm really curious about. We are trying kind of real pedals into the bias amp. And what we have here is the Buzz FZ5, which is actually kind of a digital fuzz. The classic by Bad Monkey. This is the Marshall Echo Head Delay. Oh, cool. It's um, a really good delay, but not so <laughs> <laughs> not so trustworthy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's hope it works. And the last one is the Boss RV6, which I'm really familiar with as well. Uh, we decided to kind of go uh, with the amp on the bias effects that we used in the video where we kind of created a rig for me. And I really like the British, well, it's M Marshall JTM 45, sounds clean like this. <laughs> stock pre preset we haven't done anything for the cabs or tubes or anything yeah sounds good right out of the box and in the video with it it seemed to really like all the pedals we put in the front end of the amp I think let's just get started we'll probably start from there so maybe um, the idea from the using bias amp it, it, I did a research in my head without using <laughs> the actual software, and uh, I was wondering, could I use my pedals and only the amp? Because if you use bias, uh, bias amp, you notice there's a noise gate and reverb, which are quite good reverbs, and it's almost everything you need for the basic settings. Mm. I have a dream that I would <laughs> use use my MIDI controller just control the amps and use the pedals. Ah. But that's not possible because uh, <laughs> bias amp is not a MIDI controllable. I, I hoped that uh, I could choose change the presets with uh, like this quick snap mm. system here and using with this, this uh, Bluetooth controller. Yeah, but I can't do it. Maybe if you in the positive grid software you do some researching <laughs> maybe that's possible but if you want to change the presets you have to use bias fx or jam up and mm. um, so if we want to change uh, the amplifiers playing live concerts or something you have to transfer the amps to the bias fx and um, i had a feeling that um, the amps sound a little bit better in bias amp Mm. Especially when you use uh, plugins mm. and stuff in, uh, in some DAW system. But maybe that's only in my imagination. So here's the <laughs> basic amp sound. And if you use only, um, are used to play with um, clean amps mm. and pedals, this you, you don't need to, <laughs> need to change. The amplifier so this will be good system for you let's add some reverb tape delay <laughs> like this <laughs> soft sound mm. so like reverbs it. and delays every every time it works um, this is a kind of white horse the bad monkey <laughs> it costs about something like 30 euros it's it's cheap and it's one of the best overdrives mm. I've played with this money especially now it's only a boost so I'm just uh, pop up the level maybe, maybe a little bit gain and it's quite good sounding. We could uh, 
afterwards we could uh, use some uh, maybe try some bias effects overdrives with the uh, mm. compare this that sounds good yeah Sounds good. Have maybe a little bit more gain. Yeah, <laughs> it works quite good, I guess. Yeah, I'm surprised it works. So Sounds like it should be, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this should be interesting. Okay. Oh, it's locked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not so sens sensitive, maybe. Yeah. It sounds actually okay. It's okay. I don't know the difference if I use, I have a bus the NS2. I don't know will I use the dip. Will I notice the difference with this? <laughs> it's a sudden time to fade. Yeah. yeah, it's quite a long fade. But it's better than this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Also have a maestro fast. With a gate, it's in itself. <laughs> Maybe not so useful for my play playing style. So the next thing we want to try, we want to go a bit more hardcore and use this, which is the Rev G3 pedal. And this is something you could use as a preamp, basically. So we're going to take the fuzz out and see what happens when we try it into the <laughs> JTM in the bias amp. Be right back. And we're back. Let's see what happens. Let's just put everything on 12 first and without the pedal sounds like this. A little bit noisy. Yeah. Try a bit more. We'll try um, some other amplifiers. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, maybe even in the kind of real world 
well this and the JTM 45 aren't the perfect match so let's try the clean uh, no idea about that um maybe Marshall and Marshall no <laughs> Maybe ha we have the wrong cabinet here. Uh, does it change the cap as well when you switch the preset? Yeah. If we will use the tread plate. Still sounds a little bit uh, narrow. Mm. It's like something like a fenderish yeah. thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think um, maybe if you would like to use this kind of pedal, you will use it like a clean channel on a amplifier. We have a lot of headroom. Mm. So there's. Uh, I have a amp match from uh, Mark 5 clean channel. Mm. Let's try that one. <laughs> no! <laughs> not, a good, not a good idea that either. Maybe there's something that happens when there's... this outputs a lot of signal, so maybe there's something that the software or something doesn't like. Uh, So if you want to use distortion pedal, like like a really you high, to, you have to you have to think it a little bit far away. Let's try something like again something this. Well, I rather playing in highway. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> This, this this is weird because like this pedal doesn't cut out frequencies when I use it with the Uralto and Junior. It just there's a lot. It still retains the blow and most of the time and all of that. But something weird happens here. We're not yeah. sure what. <laughs> Maybe we have to try some really something. There's like a okay. keyboard no. But just for Maybe fun. Maybe keyboard amp. It's two by twen ten. <laughs> It's like playing with those little <laughs> marshals. <laughs> Which, oh no, it's not in the room right now, but yeah. Uh, I, let's, I, let's go back and try to make that the, um, marshal work. work better. It's almost the best one. Cabinet, maybe 4x12. Yep. Um, Celestian or Threadblade uh, would be mine. I would go the with Celestians, maybe. Tread plate. It's a little bit far away. It's the best one, so. What about the. Mm. Maybe a bit more presence? I can adjust, you can play yeah. with them. So as soon as we get any gain from the amp, it goes crazy. Maybe try it like this.
about the tubes? Looking great. Mm, maybe. <laughs> Not sure I know what. Oh, the tweet. maybe if we would uh, switch this to some maybe more uh, American clean. I don't know. Six, uh, six out of sixes, maybe, just for the sake of it. Like the more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How about the solid state? Okay, getting closer. Yeah. That's so weird. I don't know like why it behaves like it does, but we're getting closer. <laughs> Rectify a tube. No, okay. Uh, I don't know nothing. I know nothing about that. American stuff. <laughs> and the cabinet. Uh, wow, well, it's quite a century. How about if we would... Yeah, you can play again. Yeah. Maybe if we would try a C414 microphone. We're getting close. Yeah, if you have them, if I would update the bias M2, I would also have a chance to use another microphone and uh, mix it something like mm. it would be more uh, sophisticated. But well, it sounds quite good. Quite good now. Clean sound. Non existent. Yeah. <laughs> but I can drop down the volume and. Yeah. I guess it's useful. Yeah, I think if you tweak this more, you would be able to use it. Uh, but as you can tell, it does require some tweaking depending on the pedal. I guess this is a bit more special case because it's a super high gain pedal and it's... I don't know if it's technically a preamp pedal, but it's close to that. So, yeah. But it's much more easier if you have an amplifier. If you, I have... I imagine that you have... If you have an uh, amplifier and you put this, the clean channel, it, it will be work great mm. right away. Mm. My experience, and if you watched my demo of this pedal, uh, you, I just plugged it in into Ural Tone Junior over there, which is just 40 watts of pretty much clean headroom without any gain. And just by having everything at 12, you click it on and it sounds good. And then you can just fine tune. So there also might be some like there's something with the input gain or something like that. It doesn't like work perfectly. But again, put some tweaking, you can do it. Uh, I think the next thing we want to try is to use kind of a combination uh, we could for example we'll take the kind of dual rectifier thing you use yeah. and try to boost it so we'll be right back we're back and what we are going to do now we have the well actually it's a triple rectifier over here and we try to boost it with this one probably need to adjust the settings first yeah not all the game I guess this is the most use, used uh, amplifier in the bias or bias effects, so 
this is also <laughs> I use. Or, I've never been a big fan of Rectifier, but when we have to play uh, American style rock music, it's the most most useful it, thing. It's the sound. Yeah. So when I use the thread plate, I use also Boost before it. And here is the Tube Screamer, <laughs> using only the level boost. A little bit. <laughs> it's a maybe need a gate, but uh, I want to check if there's a much difference with the band monkey if you're using it before the interface. Same sound. There's much more noise with that. Yeah, weird. It sounds more kind of yeah, impressed sounds, with this. Yeah, it sounds better with with this bad monkey. I don't know if I have the same uh, same settings, but the. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds better for some. Difference. The noise is much worse with that. This uh, two. <laughs> yeah. So. It's not that bad. Maybe I I will switch <laughs> this to my pedal board. I've been using this bias effects system now two and a half years, mm. and. Um, in this year, our sound, sound engineer said that he wanted to use only one channel. Before mm. that, I played with the left and right sounds with diff uh, the triple thread plate sound with the different microphones. And this mm. year, I've been playing with only one triple thread plate mm -hmm. with this. Uh, this sounds a little bit better. Yeah. It and, does. Yeah, and the pedals are more fun. <laughs> yeah, like... There's something about, like, being able to touch things, yeah. I guess. <laughs> and uh, if, if I want to use some a little bit less... There's no uh, changing preset. I had to delay before them. I think it's fun to use the tape delay before the amplifier because mm. it's distort the tape. The delay sound is also distorted. Every um, the people say the right way to use delays is after the. Amplify like the yeah, loop. Yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of like delays in front of the amp. Yeah, but there's just something. The fact that it's not that hi-fi is what kind of draws yeah. me in. Yeah, this <laughs> this is weird. Obviously, it's not exactly the same pedal. Yeah, but this sounds much better to me. <laughs> yeah, it's thirty euros, <laughs> and um, I've been playing without any pedals. I have the whammy pedal in front of the this the, the, this um, bias effects because the whammy simulation in here is really <laughs> <laughs> not good um, and the active effects are much better in front of the bias effects mm. but uh, after that I will be using this kind of pedals like delay tap tem tap tem -do delay uh, the shimmer maybe even in front of this bias effects and if you have little less pedals here in the effect chain that mm. it'll <laughs> the cpu uses is much much more lower 
You can and now it's try. around 25-35%. Yeah. If you put all these in, in it's like 40 and then maybe it, it will <laughs> affect some latency issues. Since you add m more noise again. Yeah. Oh, no, it was the... It was the... I OD. Tube screaming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was fun and weird and we're still getting <laughs> some hits from somewhere, not sure where, but... Yeah. Yeah, Th this room isn't like 100% electrically awesome, <laughs> let's put it that way. So I, I'm getting like, sometimes just by having certain like uh, power cord extensions create some weird things. But uh, again, we also have a lot of kind of input signal going on with there. I don't know, this hiss, but it's manageable. Uh, I think we're done with the test. Uh, the conclusion is that yes, you can use real pedals with the bias amp or bias effects. Uh, depending on the pedal, you might have to adjust a lot, or it works right out of the gate. Uh, but this this is fun. Like you can create kind of kind of super cool rigs with kind of using mix and mixing kind of both things. So that's fun. Thanks for doing this. We have this cheesy guitar marks. Hi to Dan and Mick if you happen to watch this. This is a product placement, this isn't. And <laughs> I'm actually out of coffee, so I'll just put it over here. Okay. Thanks to Tanali. I'll put a link to his band stuff as well in the links below and links to all the gear you can see on the awesome cam here. I like this over here, very professional as well. There's an email for me. <laughs> We are going to wrap up now. Thanks for watching. There will be a subscribe button somewhere and other stuff I've done. I shall see you next time.